Hey, what's you guys? It's Austin here. So in today's story time, I'm telling you guys a story about me and my friend and his dad, the same dad from the uh, camping story I told a few days ago. And yeah, this is kind of just an embarrassing moment on my part. So if you guys think this story is funny or enjoy it at any point, please leave a like. Also, when this video goes up, if you're watching it, like the first two hours of it going up, I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch. So come check that out if you want. Come hang out with me. Talk to me. Links in the description. Also, tomorrow's video is going to be a vlog. I'm giving you guys a new apartment tour. So if you guys are into stuff like that, make sure you don't miss my video tomorrow. But anyway, enough plugging, on to the video, story time. So this story takes place when I was 16, and my friend got grounded. That's kind of the start of this, okay? My friend got grounded, and he wanted to hang out with some people, so he invited me and my other friend to come over and hang out with him while his parents weren't home. Now, at this time, his parents were split up, but they were still living together. They were, like, in the process of moving out or something. But usually, there'd at least be one parent there at the house at all times. And I really don't know why he chose me and my friend to come over, well, his parents weren't home, like not his girlfriend or something. He was dating someone at the time. And like, I don't know, I guess I feel like it'd be more worth it if I was in his position to have like my girlfriend come over instead of me and, you know, risk getting in more trouble over me. But I don't know. I wasn't offended. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, I'll come over. And me and my friend came over. We fucking walked in his house. No one was home. And he's like, yeah, my parents are going to come back in like two hours. So just leave before then. So like an hour into hanging out, we're up in his room upstairs playing Xbox. And we hear the front door open downstairs. And my friend's like, oh, fuck, dude, I think my mom's home. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it's not a big deal, man. Like, she likes me. She's not going to get mad that I'm here. He's like, maybe not. But like, both of you being here is a problem. Like, just leave. Like, go out the window. And I was like, okay, fuck. So I run over to the window. I open the window up. Keep in mind, second story window. And, like, he has a little roof that you can walk on from his window that goes a little bit more down. So, the drop isn't as, like, serious. So, like, if you have time to prepare and you, like, hang and drop, you won't get hurt at all. So, I'm trying to move quick and my friend's behind me. And we get up on the roof and we fucking walk down the little slant on his roof. And we go to jump off. And right as I'm about to jump, I hear someone yell in the room from the window we climbed out of. And it's his mom. So, I'm like, oh, fuck. So, I go to jump and I slip and my foot gets caught in his gutter. And I was like, oh, shit. And I just basically tripped off of his roof. And as I'm falling down, I look up and I see my friend looking at me from the top of the roof. And I'm just falling down. And luckily, I kind of landed on my one foot. I twisted the fuck out of my ankle and I think I sprained it. And then I fell over. And I hear his mom yelling from the window above like, Who the fuck just jumped? Who the fuck just jumped? And my friend's on the roof just standing there trying to talk to her. He's like, oh, it, it was Austin. And I'm like, great, he snitched on me. And to be honest, it wouldn't have mattered because I would have gotten caught anyway, considering I could barely walk after this. So I get up and I basically one foot hop to the front door, open the door, and his mom's standing right there waiting for me. And she's like, Austin, what the fuck? I'm just like, I'm sorry, ma'am. She's just like, come in, come in. And I fucking hobble in there. She sits me down, grabs me an ice pack. And she's like, why would you try and secret agent and jump out my window on my second floor? And I was like, I don't know. We just thought that he'd get grounded more if he got caught hanging out with us. So we just tried to sneak out. And she's just like, I'm about to ground you for two weeks. And I just laughed. And she's like, all right, well, I'll be right back. And she goes upstairs to go talk to my friend and my other friend who didn't jump but was about to. Um, I kind of wish I was him and I just pussied out because my ankle was fucking throbbing. It hurt so bad. I actually thought I broke it. And uh, I'm just sitting there in the chair downstairs icing my ankle. And all of a sudden, my friend's dad walks in. He must have just got home. And he's like, Austin? I was like, yeah. And he goes, what the fuck did you do? And I was like, uh, I fell off your roof. He's just like, do you do you think before you do things? And I'm like, no, not, not really, sir. And he's just like, how'd you fall off the roof? I'm like, okay, look, long story short, his mom got home. I thought I was going to get in trouble or he'd get in more trouble if I was caught hanging out here. Well, you know, he was grounded. And me and my friend were just going to jump off and make a run for it. And he's like, wait, someone else jumped off the roof with you? I'm like, no, almost, but he didn't want to. He got scared. And he's like, oh, so he's smarter than you. And then he's like, well, where's he? And I'm like, he's upstairs. He's like, okay, just keep icing your ankle. I don't know why you thought that'd be a good idea. As if we think you're some sketchy kid, we wouldn't get mad at you. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I thought my friend would get in more trouble if I was caught hanging out here while he's grounded. And he's like, look, just don't do this anymore, okay? If you come over or you sneak over here or something, just talk to us first. Don't, don't jump out our windows and fall off our roof. Like, just relax. I'm like, okay, sir. He goes upstairs and like a couple minutes go by, he comes back down. My ankle was throbbing even harder. It hurts so bad. He's like, look, do you need a ride to like the hospital or something? Like it looks really swollen. I'm like, that actually be really great. And we went to the fucking hospital to get my ankle checked because I actually thought it was broken. Like straight up, I was under the impression it was broken. It hurt like a bitch. It hurt to walk. And it was really, really in a lot of pain. Now, long story short, my ankle was not broken. It was just sprained. Everything was cool. 
I, uh, I had some crutches. I barely used them though. Pretty much just one foot hopped everywhere. And after a few weeks of not using it that much, it started to feel better and I was pretty much fine. But it was kind of scary. Like I actually thought I broke my ankle falling off his roof, but luckily I didn't. I felt like I did, but I didn't. So that's good. And in the end, I didn't get in any trouble. My mom and uh, his parents just kind of was like, you know, why would you do that? Like you could have just talked to them and they wouldn't have been mad at you. Maybe your friend, but not you. But I don't know. I was just trying to be a good friend and not get him in any more trouble. But in the end, it didn't fucking matter because we didn't get in any more trouble because we were caught. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. I was trying to sneak out of my friend's house. I slipped off of his roof. I sprained my ankle and then went to the hospital. In the end, I didn't get seriously hurt. I was fine. Didn't break anything. My friend's dad had a good laugh. My friend's mom had a good laugh at me. And I was pretty much just the dumbass of the day. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this story or found it funny, please leave a like on the video. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.